Hey guys, what's going on? It's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. I have a great drill that's going to help you improve your power today, okay? And this is not a drill that you need a partner to do, or a coach, or a T, or an L screen, or anything. This is something all you need is a bat and yourself, okay? You can do this looking in the mirror. That's preferably where you should do this, is just before bedtime, you know, do a few reps uh, right in front of the mirror. But you can do this literally anywhere. You don't even really need a bat. You can do it in the shower. You can do, uh, you know, while you're watching TV in the living room, whatever. But this is a great drill that's gonna help you with your power because it's called the separation drill. Now, what I see in a lot of younger players, younger hitters, and even some high school and college guys, is they hear over and over and over again that they want to have a short swing and yes you do once you get into the launch position you want to be you know the shortest distance between two points is a straight line so you want your swing to be somewhat short right but i see a lot of players when they hear keep your swing short this is what they end up doing everything is in tight like this and they never get any sort of whip any sort of separation so they go into their kind of meaningless load and meaningless stride and they keep their hands here and then they just go from a to b like this a to b and that's not a very powerful swing right there is it i mean i'm not generating hardly any force at all and what i want you to think about because it's the same way in hitting think about having a rubber band okay if you have a rubber band at home grab it really quick and put it in between your fingers and I want you to hold it at this distance apart. And you're probably gonna notice you don't really feel very much, right? But the further and further and further you pull away your fingers, the more energy that's built up with that rubber band, right? And eventually if you keep going, it's just gonna snap because there's so much energy built up. That's the same thing we wanna have in our swing, right? We wanna have so much energy built up that we can just explode on the baseball. So this drill is gonna help you uh, learn the proper way to separate, okay? And you've probably seen that Josh Donaldson video where he talks about how every great hitter lands with his front foot open. You know, him and Jose Batista and all the guys that hit for power land with their front foot open. And you saw him get into a position similar to this right here, okay? Where his hips are already kind of going forward like this. But meanwhile, you know, his his backside or his, his upper body, his arms and his hands and everything else is back here and you'll notice he's got a ridiculous lat stretch and his front arm is really lengthened out like this. It's not in here close to his body, it's lengthened out. That's the position you want to get into. So here's the drill, you just get into your regular stance, right? And all we're going to do, we're going to do a load, a stride and then we're going to turn our hips like this. So start our hip rotation going this way. Turn your hips like this and then you're gonna pull your arms backward like this. We want our knob of our bat facing the catcher and all you wanna feel is your hips starting to fire and your knob facing the catcher and you wanna feel a lat stretch. This is a drill where if you're doing it right, you're gonna feel right here a ridiculous stretch like you're kinda of like coiling up, okay? Or like you're that rubber band and you're getting ready to fire. That's the feeling that we wanna have in this drill. So that's it, that's the separation drill. It's super easy. It's not something that you have to do ridiculously fast until you get the hang of it, but this is really just to encourage you, instead of being all tight like this and having a meaningless load and a meaningless stride and just having a short hands to the ball swing like this, we want to get a little bit longer until we get into our launch position. We really want to generate some force, okay? So, uh, you know, you can still have a small load and a small stride, but when we get into that launch position, we want to have our front foot open at about 45 degrees. We want to have our hips slightly starting to rotate. We want to have our knob facing the catcher, a good uh, lengthen in our front arm, a good lat stretch, and have that torque built up. And that is going to help you hit for a lot more power. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Try out the separation drill. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you want to improve your bat speed, okay, I have a free bat speed workout that I want to share with you. All you have to do is click on this image right here. That'll take you to my website. If you're on your phone or your tablet, any sort of mobile device, that's not going to work. No problem. Just click on the very first link in the description below this video, okay? So that'll take you to this free bat speed workout. Uh, I'm going to walk you through some drills that are proven to help you improve your bat speed, okay? So thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.